Hi everyone, welcome to Pulse Social's weekly news bulletin. My name is Abby Lake and I'm a trainee sports journalist for Pulse Social. Let's see what news we have for this week. First up, there will be a podcast coming out around August-September time, where I spoke to James Halby, who has worked in the sports and corporate travel arena for 15 years with big names like the British Wheelchair Basketball, the England and Wales Cricket Board, to now working with Koi Sports. In this podcast, we talked about grassroots sports, the importance of it, and the major barriers currently facing this particular area within sports. Make sure to subscribe and turn on YouTube notifications to be notified when this comes out. All Social would also like to say a massive thank you to Virgin Money, Jenny Tomei, and to all the attendees who joined our She Gets Social Lunch and Play in partnership with Virgin Money. The event was a huge success and combined networking and fitness in a new, unique way that has not been done before. Pulse Social will be doing another event called She Gets Talking in partnership with Virgin Money on Tuesday the 6th of July at 11am UK time. To check out the event details and sign up, follow the QR code coming on the screen now. Next up, there will be a blog post coming out about what grassroots sports is why it is important and the key benefits it brings. To read this, make sure you stay tuned for updates on our YouTube and social media platforms. You can find us at Pulse Social CIC. A sports article by The Guardian reported about how England women were forced to play India Test on used men's T20 cricket pitch for their upcoming cricket game. The game took place at Bristol on a pitch first used for Gloucestershire's T20 Blast match against Sussex last Friday. It will also be the second consecutive home women's test allocated a used wicket, after England's Ashes encounter at Taunton in 2019. And finally, a recent BBC Sports News article has reported that football player Cristiano Ronaldo is closing in on Ali Dei's world record after scoring twice against Hungary in their recent match on Tuesday. He has only played one match so far in Euro 2020, and after a while of waiting for his second moment on pitch, he came out during injury time to go ahead and score his 11th goal at the Euros to seal Portugal's win to 3-0. Congratulations to Portugal for their win. And that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Abby Lake and I'll be back with you again next week.